let's talk about more technical terms of docker like they see here there are something like docker images containers docker hub docker file what are all these let's try to understand them give me a second please so till now we were talking about containers right okay so yeah we were talking about uh, they create a container they share the container but how the, how are these containers created from where do we get the containers we get the containers actually from something called docker images okay what is this docker image yes docker image is the static file listen carefully this is a static file what is mean by static file it's a just read only file okay and when you run this image you get a container means container is a running instance of the image until now i'm talking about create a container share the container but strictly speaking containers are not shared okay we share the images but for your understanding purpose i told you that containers we create a container share the container actually we share the vms okay developers create sorry we share the images i'm sorry so developers will create an image okay uh, by packing the application along with the dependencies and they share the image okay images are the ones which are shared uh, something like if you have uh, worked with uh, docker i mean if you have worked with uh, uh, virtual machines okay if any one of you have worked with virtual machines you can understand this see if you want to run a virtual machine whenever you create a virtual machine it could be formed in the form of over file dot over file or else a vmx file i don't know how many of you have noticed it it can be saved in the form of a over file or vmx file okay it's like a simple text file okay it's like a sorry it's not a text file it's a static file okay when you run this you get a container okay like we were talking about earlier they used to create a vm share the vm again they don't share the vm okay they share these files because vm is a running entity or a running instance you cannot share it we share this so whoever needed they'll run this and create a vm got it same analogy if this image is something like this okay it's a static file you run that you get a container then how to create an image yes uh, there are already so many official images available docker has got so many official images available and the storage place of the image is called registry see this terminology is very important you need to understand the terminology and memorize the terminology of course slowly once you start doing hands on you get used to it so image is a static file when you run that you get a container okay all the images are stored in something called registry registry is a storage place of images okay it's a storage place of images it's called docker hub all the images are stored all the images means yes official images like a centos image with the database centos image with mysql centos with php or else ubuntu with the so on so, so so already some images were configured and they're already available okay you can just pull them and use it but uh, there might be some enterprise application right we need our own uh, application our own configuration so in that case yes you can also create your own images either it's an official image or either it is your own image any image every docker image will be created from docker file of course official images means they are already created by docker and they are stored and available here for public usage if you want your own image for your company for your enterprise application yes you will be creating your own image through docker file again what is docker file docker file is simply a text file it will have something called docker instructions we will be learning those docker instructions how it works and all so yes uh, so from docker file you get an image how do you get when you build the docker file you get an image what is meant by building the docker file what do you do with that building means what happens at the back end yes we will be learning each and every point here you build the docker file you get an image you run the image you get a container okay this formula you should remember throughout that's what this diagram says see docker image from docker image 
you may run your own docker image create your own container or else let's say my own docker image but i still want to share it or store it on hub you can store it right and this image is coming from something called docker file from docker file you get a docker image from docker image you get a docker container and also docker images can be stored on hub okay from docker hub you get the containers like you pull the image and start a container analyze this diagram now i'm repeating from docker file images will be created either official or own images this is the same process official images means they'll be shared on docker hub for public use okay if it is personal image you can also store it privately on the docker hub with the paid accounts we'll talk about that later so just docker hub is a registry what is registry registry means a service a storage place for the containers okay from docker image you get a container okay or else you may want to store you can store it on hub others may pull the image from hub and start a container is this much clear everyone is this much clear all of you any questions in this part we'll talk about okay how to create a docker file how to use images from hub how to create our own images how to store it a lot of uh, things we'll be learning any questions let me know yeah this is the formula i'm talking about docker file from docker file when you build it you get an image from image you get a container you can imagine container is like an entity uh, like in the transportation world you have a container where you put the application along with your dependencies like in transportation you put everything and ship the container right same is the case here you put your application whatever your application and ship share the container see this is how it looks docker file it's a text file you build it you get an image okay you run this image you get a container how it works we'll see with the hands-on what is inside the docker image how is docker image built what is happening there we'll see one to many you can create any number of containers from a single docker image see from this docker image okay you may start any number of containers of course they are all same instances because they are coming from same image same configuration but multiple instances of the same image container one container two container three which are all instances or replicas we'll say any number of containers can be started like any number of virtual machines started from the same configurations right docker image what is a container it's a package with everything required to make software run expect except the operating system and application portable we'll go through the architecture docker architecture with small hands-on okay from here let's begin the hands-on and then we'll talk about this component